In this video tutorial, we will be taking a look at year six percentages. So this is aimed at predominantly key stage two students, but it may be appropriate for key stage one students and also key stage three maths and even revisiting GCSE foundation tier maths and even higher tier maths as part of your revision. We're going to start with question number one. Here are some hundred grids. What percentage of each grid is shaded? Well, here I've got one row of ten. I've got one um, column, sorry, not row. One row, um, column of ten, another column of ten. So ten plus ten plus ten is thirty percent. Okay, because I've got thirty out of a hundred, and percentage means out of a hundred. Okay, next one, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then I'm going across, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, so all of this, okay, so this is going to be 7 by 7, so this is going to be 49%, because 7 times 7 is 49 and then I'm going to add on the additional, well I've got 3 there, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I've got 18%, so 49 add 18, 9 add 8 is 70, carry the 1, 4 add 1 is 5, add the 1 is 6, so the answer is 67%. Okay, this is question number two, guys. Shade twelve percent of the hundred grid. Well, so I'm going to shade in one complete row and then two squares on the next row. Okay, so just these two. So that is going to be 12%. This is question number three, guys. Use the bar model to help you. 120 kilograms. What is 50% of 120 kilograms? Well, that's actually half of it, okay? So 50% means dividing it by two. So 120 divided by two. So I'm splitting it into two equal parts. And the answer I get is 60 kilograms because 12 divided by 2 is 6 and then adding that 0 in becomes 60. The next one, what is 25% of 120? Well this is half of a half so I'm dividing this by 4, I'm splitting it into 4 equal bars, okay, 4 equal parts, okay. So I'm going to do 120 divided by 4. Okay, because hopefully some of you will recognise that 25% is equal to a quarter as a fraction in its simplest form. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and then adding the 0 it becomes 30 kilograms. This is question number 4, guys. Use the bar model to help you. What is 10% of 70? Now, 10% of something just means dividing it by 10. Okay, so I'm dividing it by 10. Okay, so take off one of the zeros. So I just get left with 7. Okay, so I've now got to work out what 30% of 70 is. Well, 10% is equal to 7. 30% is 3 lots of 10%. Okay, so it's going to be 3 lots of 7. which is 21. Okay, next question, what is 90% of 70? Well, 10% of 70 is equal to 7, so 90% will be 9 lots of 7. Okay, so 9 times 7, and 9 times 7, we should know, is 63. 
This is the last part of the question. What is 5% of 70? Well, 5% is just half of 10%. So if 10% is 7, a half of 7 will give me what 5% is. Okay? Which is equal to 3.5 or 3 and a half. This is question number five. The percentage bar chart shows the color of counters in a box. Zero percent to a hundred percent. What percentage of the counters in the box are blue? Well, it's going up to here. So 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%. Okay. So what percentage are blue? It's going to be 60%. Okay, remembering that word percent or percentage means out of a hundred, okay, per a hundred. Okay, what percentage of the counters in the box are yellow? Well, that goes to 90. Okay, if I do 90%, take away 60%, that will tell me how much this is in total. So the answer I get is 30%. Okay, next question. What percentage of the counters in the box are red well 100% take away 90% is 10% okay so hopefully it's making sense so far this is question number six guys it says 50% of a number is 32 what is the number so 50% of something is 32 so this is like a reverse percentage question so if I double my answer okay that will tell me the number that I'm looking for. And the reason why I'm doubling it is because 50% is the same as half as a fraction. Okay, so half of something, let's just call that x. A half x equals 32. Now, if I solve that equation and make x the subject, I multiply everything by 2 on both sides. So I get the number to be 64. Okay. And I can check my answer. 50% of 64 is indeed 32. Because half of 64 is 32. Okay, next question. 10% of a number is 7.5. What is a number? Well, 10% means dividing a number by 10. So if I multiply 7.5 by 10, that will tell me the original number. So move the decimal point one place to the right. I get 75. Okay, this is question number seven. Max has 800 pounds in the bank. He spends 3% of his money on a new computer game. How much money does he spend in the computer game? Well, 1% of 800 means that I divide it by 100, okay, because 10% I divide by 10. So 1% means that I divide it by 100. So 800 divided by 100 is equal to 8 pound. But I want 3%, so I'm going to multiply that by 3. Okay, so 8 times 3, or I can do 8, add 8, add 8. And the answer we get is 24 pounds. Okay. This is question number eight, guys. Complete the table. Percentage, fraction, decimal. Okay, so the first one has been done for us. 50% is equal to half as a fraction and is equal to 0 0.5 as decimal. So these are all equivalent, okay? 7% is 7 out of 100. And as a decimal, it's 0 0.07. Okay? Because essentially, I'm, I'm dividing 7 by 100 in order to get that answer. Okay, 0 0.2, 1 fifth. Well, if I multiply this by 100, that will tell me the percentage. The answer we get is 20%. Okay, a decimal to a percentage, I times it by 100. Okay. Next question, 57%, 0.57. We're looking here, a percentage means out of 100. So it's 57 out of 100. 
This is question number nine. Leon or Leona has a large bag of apples. There are 180 apples in the bag. She uses a quarter of the apples to make some juice. She uses 20% of the apples to make some pies. How much apples are left? Well, let's just convert this percentage to a fraction. I know that 20% is the same as saying one fifth from my previous question. So if I do a quarter plus a fifth, that will tell me how much I've used altogether, and then from there I can take it away from the whole number one, and that will tell me what my answer is. Okay, so adding fractions, I've got to find the common denominator. So four times five is twenty over twenty is equal to out of twenty. Now one quarter is equivalent to five twentieths. Okay, times in top and bottom by five for the quarter fraction, and one fifth is equal to four twentieths as a fraction times in top and bottom by four for that fraction. Five twentieths add four twentieths is nine twentieths. So nine twentieths, okay, have been used. So if I work out nine twentieths of 180, well, that's a fraction of an amount. So I divide by the bottom times by the top. 180 divided by 20 is equal to 9. 9 gives me 1 20th, but I want 9 20th. So I'm going to times it by 9, which is 81. Now that's how many apples she has used. Okay. So taking off 181 from 180, that will tell me how many apples are left. Okay, 80, 180 take away 81, so column subtraction, 0 take away 1 I can't do, so I'd have to borrow from there. That becomes a 7, that becomes a 1, 10 take away 1 is 9, 7 take away 8 I can't do, so I'd have to borrow there, that becomes a 0. That becomes a 1. 17 take away 8 is 9. Okay. So the answer is just 99. Okay. Apples that are left. Okay. So that's like a typical exam style question that you may see on like a typical key stage 3 paper. Okay. So yeah. So make sure that you are happy with um, these sorts of questions. Okay. Right guys, so that takes us to the end of today's video, so I sincerely hope that you found it useful, hope you found it informative, if you did, please press like, please subscribe to the channel if you're new, and lastly, please click that bell icon so you don't miss out on further videos and further uploads, okay, but that's it for me today guys, thank you so much for watching, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you for the next one, bye for now.